Hello YouTube, Errol Assassin here today, and welcome back to another Battleground on Blood DK. And, yeah, I'm enjoying Blood DK a lot, and I said I was going to try and play it a lot more once I finished the prestige farming on my Druid, which I finally did. And I want to do more Blood DK testing. This will probably be the second Blood DK video that I've done in a Battleground. Not really sure. I think so, it's probably the second one. We're facing against the pre-made, so I don't really have much high hopes considering the fact that we have no healers. But, you know, I'm queuing up with also my friend Point, so shout out to him as well. And, uh, let's see how this goes. I'm kind of, I'm not, it just, it pretty much comes down to who's better at DPS. It's just pretty much going to see who's better at DPS. All there is, all there is to it. So let's go ahead and team fight at the middle at the start and see if we can do pretty dang well. I haven't done much practice on Blood DK, so this is officially where I'm going to start trying to get better at it. Um, yeah, let's just see how it goes, guys. That's pretty much all I can say is just let's see how it goes. I need more practice as Blood DK for sure, 100%. Let's go ahead and get a slow on him. Did I get a, did I get a dot on him? No, I didn't. I'm not going to waste another death grip charge on him though. Maybe I should go get the um, flag. Also, I didn't show off my talents. I'm running these talents this time, by the way, guys. Just a heads up. The Berserker is up, by the way. For anybody that wants to get it. Oh, boy. I'm on my way to get the flag. If anybody does not get the flag first. I got it, dude. Okay, or not. I was about to come get it, but okay. Fury Warrior can take it. By the way, you guys seem to enjoy my story videos, so... I got another one I can share today. This one takes place in the Timeless Isle. And it was by far my most favorite place. It was like... Timeless Isle was like the best world PvP place ever in this game. Just hands down for me. If people will disagree, that's fine. But it was just hands down my favorite place in the game. So back then when I had more friends that played, uh, I know my friend Dubert played back then. We used to go to Thomas Out Award PvP together. And what we did was what we camped the bridge where Ordos was. If you guys don't know what Ordos is, you had to have the legendary cloak in order to pretty much past the um the bridge there and so yeah we camped there and we made our own raid group i had tunes on malganus i believe i still do and i would just make my i would invite my friends and then i would uh, give them leader and then i would have them invite my tune on Duskwood, which is my PvE realm on Madrid, and we would form an Ordos group. And you guys probably already know over over what we're going with this. You could betray your own faction with the coins. And what I would do is we would get a full 40 man raid and all three of us would take turns typhooning people off the bridge on all three of our droids. It was the most amazing thing you could <laughs> It was just absolutely amazing. I mean, the amount of rage you guys probably can tell from this is just, it would, it was my, it was just, it was amazing. It was truly amazing. I really missed that expansion just due to the fact of that reason. I mean, just who, <laughs> who wouldn't be mad about doing all that to those several people, to be honest? Let's go ahead and finish off this guy here. I mean, just camping the bridge, typhooning people, it was just truly amazing. Alright, he's getting away, I can't catch up with him. Too slow as a DK. Let's go ahead and just do this instead. But yeah, we just camped typhoons like every once in a while. It was just, it was truly amazing. I love, I really truly do miss Miss Pandaria. It was truly amazing expansion pack. Warlock, huh? Let's go ahead and get on him. There's no way I don't think any of us could kill, <laughs> kill each other here. I don't know. I could be wrong here. Let's 
go ahead and try and kill the warlock. I don't even know because I think the warlock will pretty much outheal my damage. I mean, I could try. Should have interrupted him there if I wanted to get the rest of my uh, the rest of my. I don't know. <laughs> I think I'm trying to think of well, killing warlock here. I need a strategy to kill this warlock. And now I have one. Blood DK is so much fun. It's crazy. Wow, that was a really far. Um, <laughs> oh jeez. I'm sorry guys. Oh man. Throat. We're actually beating a pre-made, I think. It's really weird. Very crappy pre-made. Come on down, come on down. Hello. Hey, um, Mr. Neater, can I give you a nice big juicy hug with a stun and blood drinker? I, I like to use blood drinker as damage. It actually does so much damage. It's crazy. Dang it. Didn't get there in time. Oh, nice sheep, dude. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go. <laughs> this warlock is not happy. We'll go ahead and pop. Uh, nah, I'll save it. all right he can he can just go ahead and go away let's go ahead and put some dots on him though go ahead and try to get away from this pet i can't run that fast so i can't get out of combat and i don't feel like having a five-year fight with a warlock here warlocks are annoying enough to kill as enough as it is what you looking at freaking Monk. He's probably put a port on the roof. Is he part of the pre made No, he's not. Because you could see. Actually, no, you probably can't see because the face cam's blocking it. But I have background targets. Five of them are from Sarfang. Yeah, I got they got five Sarfang players. Oh, they capped. I thought the guy died. I also have another story I want to uh, tell you guys from, this one is from Wrath of the Lich King. And this is kind of like the one of the last stories I remember. If I remember any more, I'll share it in the future. But this is one of my uh, also favorites. My absolute favorite one was the Timeless Isle one that I told you guys just about, about right now. It was really amazing. Nothing will just ever beat that for me. It's just camping that bridge. So many people were mad. Oh my god. Um, but yeah, this one took place in Wrath of the Lich King. And if you guys remember Wintergrass, if you played back then, it was really, really popular. It was extremely popular. And whenever the Alliance side won, uh, they got to do Vault of Archivon. Like, whichever side won, they got to do Vault of Archivon. You guys probably knew that. Or know that, I should say. And I usually like to let the Alliance win more because when... The Alliance won, the door was blocked off, and if you were fast enough, you could go up to, on top of the orb, inside the base, like when you, you know, when you touch the orb, and the team wins. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the next flag, but yeah, when you grab the door, the orb, and the next team wins, uh, it, the door stays open. So I would fly up all the way to the top of the orb, and back then was when, like, Several groups would do Vault of Archivon. You would see like hundreds of people. Like hundreds. It was like the most high peak of when people played World of Warcraft. So I would go on my Fire Mage, fly up all the way to the top of the orb. And back then I had like several AoEs, Flame Strikes, Living Bombs, all that. So I would put Living Bombs on like the hundreds of people down there. And the amount of lag from the AoE was completely ridiculous. It, I killed several people from that AoE. It was amazing. It was the most amazing thing ever. I wish I had it recorded to show you guys, but I just don't. I would AoE just several people, and they were not happy. They tried, like, hundreds of people tried to get up to where I was, and they couldn't. Some people eventually did, but um, they just couldn't get up there. It was really funny. 
So that was personally my second favorite time, uh, favorite second favorite story just back then was just AOing people out in the front of Vault of Archivon. It was just pure chaos. I didn't have a raid or anything. I was pretty much by myself. So it was really amazing. Just thought I'd share a few stories with you guys. Let me know what you guys think of them. Because I think they're really amazing. Let's go ahead and go finish this battleground up. Because apparently nobody wants to stop me. Having a hypo. Interesting. Not really sure what that's supposed to mean. So, um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And let me know what you guys think of Blood DK. Let me know what you guys think of the stories. See you guys later.